Hi, my name is Dr. Frederick Edward Fabelia, and I will be discussing preparing for a research defense. Okay, so why is the defense a requirement? The research output is a major requirement set by the respective government agency, whether it's the Department of Education or the Commission on Higher Education. The quality of the research output is monitored by these agencies. That is why the school appoints an unbiased and objective panel to ensure that the quality of the student's research output meets these standards. Okay, so the preparation will depend on the number of researchers doing the study. So how many are defending? It could be a group or it could be an individual. Uh, group research defense usually happens at the senior high school or college level. Individual research defense is usually done during the masteral and doctorate level. Okay, so let's talk about the group defense. What are the challenges of a group defending? So we have two major challenges. One, free riding. Some rely on their more productive group members or leader to do all the work. Okay, another is social loafing. When a group feels that their individual effort won't be identified, they exert less effort. Okay, so these are the challenges of any group in any group activity actually. Okay, so the panel will be able to see the group's level of cooperation through the following individual members mastery of the research, individual members ability to answer questions of the panel, and the individual members not having to rely on group mates for the answers to their questions. Okay, so what are the components of group defense? So first, uh, in order to prepare for it, uh, you need individual member preparation. You need a PowerPoint and you also need a group plan. Okay, let's discuss uh, all these components in the context of a qualitative phenomenological research output by the group. So that will be our example. All right. So individual member preparation, what does this entail? It entails mastery of the statement of the problem, of the informants, of the interview questions, of the theory, as well as the themes that you were able to extract. Okay. Now, let's go to the PowerPoint. What does the PowerPoint include? It should include the following. The title and the statement of the problem, the summary of chapter two, just a summary, as well as the theory, okay? Data gathering procedure, informants and interview questions, as well as the themes, conclusions, and recommendations that you are able to arrive at, okay? Now, let's go to the group plan. So, what should the group plan include? who will discuss chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, and chapter five. Okay, so it's not important that you follow this uh, uh, flow. You just need to ensure that all members speak. They all have a chance to speak as well as all the parts of the research are discussed. Okay, you don't have to discuss everything because the panelists will have a copy of your entire research. Okay, all right. So, anticipating panel questions is one good way of preparing for a research defense, okay? But you have to consider your group. No? The panelists may call a group member by name and ask a question. It could be any one of you. Therefore, you should be ready. Each member should be ready to answer independently. All right. Okay, so again, let's consider the possible questions that could be asked. Possible question one, why does your topic need to be studied? Okay, this is a very common question asked by panelists. Okay, possible question two, how did you choose your informants? All right. Possible question three, how did you extract your theme? So this is about your data gathering as well as your analysis and interpretation of your data. Okay. Possible question four, why did you make these conclusions? So this is now about chapter five. So remember conclusions answer the statement of the problem. Okay. 
possible question five, why do you think these are the themes that emerged from your study? Okay, so think of the meaning units, the coding, and how you arrived at these themes. Possible question six, how did you follow the ethics of research? So re, uh, ethics is very important when you conduct research, okay? Possible question seven, personally. So the, the, the panelists might ask personal questions from each member. What was the most challenging aspect of your research? Okay, so they can ask other personal questions such as, what skill did you learn from making this research? And another personal question, what did you discover from your research that made an impact on you? Okay, so now that you know the possible questions, you can prepare for these questions. And one of the things that you can also do is rehearse. So, so the first thing that you need to do is prepare ready-made answers to possible questions, okay? So that all your members can answer these questions the same way as everyone else. Okay, so each member should have a copy of the complete research and the ready-made answers, okay? And have a mock defense to rehearse your PowerPoint presentation as well as a question and answer portion, okay? That will also increase your self-confidence. All right, so how to answer questions? These are some pointers. First, be, re be respectful. Second, answer panel's questions to the best of your ability, okay? Three, if you know the answer but you have a group mate who has not yet answered, who has not yet spoken, okay, and answer the panel's question, let that group mate answer, okay? Kung if there's no one who's going to answer, then just answer it. All right. Try to defend your research process as well as your findings. That is why it is called a defense. And lastly, be open to comments and suggestions by the panel. Assign a group note taker to note the panel's comments. Okay, so good luck. Okay, that ends my discussion on preparing for a research defense. Thank you very much.